I worked on a bunch of projects with my dad in the late summer and fall. I didn't get video of them because videoing while you're doing a project makes everything take twice as long. So I have a pictures and slideshows. Let me know in the comments below if you think that I should have spent the time to video all these things. If you would have been interested in seeing um, video of them. The first project we did was we put a new roof on one of our sheds in the sand pit. It is, as you can see, the shingles are just completely shot on this. They're not that old. They're only maybe less than 20 years old, but they just fell to pieces. They were not a good brand. I guess there was a recall and a class action lawsuit on them or something, but we missed out on that and we're just putting metal roofing over it. First we strapped the roof with 2x4s so we'd have something to attach the metal roofing to. It was a bit of a pain because we had to deal with the lumpy shingles. And we also picked out our worst 2x4s for this job on purpose. Some of the edges came out all wavy on our bandsaw mill. We figured they'd be fine up here underneath the roof. Nobody would notice. To get the sheets up on the roof we used some of the 24 foot staging planks as ramps to make it up the roof. It made it really easy to haul the sheets up to this side of the roof. And here we are putting on the sheets. Metal roofing goes really fast once you get a system all set up. The next project I worked on was putting in two new windows in a house. Um, they wanted a taller window so you could actually use it as an egress to get out to the backyard. And it turned out that the whole house is kind of built <laughs> really poorly. Everything was crooked so I ended up framing out two new walls and you know new rough opening for the windows new sheathing uh, replaced some sills and overall it, it came out pretty well I think working on these old houses with stone foundations and that have had many years of abuse and neglect it can be really tricky like it's hard to tell but the clapboards that I was trying to match up with were all different reveals and widths and crooked but the final product came out well and without building them a whole new house it's about as good as you can do. The next project I worked on was my dad's house. We needed a new roof on the garage. The shingles on there were actually better than the ones in the sand pit shed uh, even though they were probably 20 years older maybe 15 years older. We're also reaching the end of a five-year residing, re-insulating project we've been working on. We were doing about a side a year, but we also added in a sunroom, so that took up an extra year. So my dad's passing me up the hardy cement clapboards. We got our cut station down there and putting them on using the the roofing staging as staging to get the clapboards up. We then moved on to the front side of the house. We had to tear off all the old siding and chipboard. We're not sure what caused it, but the old Tyvek on the house underneath the the siding was just completely disintegrated. You could just tear it apart with your hands. It was like tissue paper and all cracked. The fiberglass insulation on this side of the house actually was in surprisingly good shape. Pretty big gaps in the timber framing joints and in other places in the framing. So air sealing those made a big difference. For insulation, we used poly iso insulation that had fiberglass facing on it and then we foamed around it with spray foam. We found leaving about a 3 eighths of an inch gap worked fairly well and then we screwed boards on to hold the pieces in place while the foam dried. We then resheathed the whole house using one inch boards that we cut on our bandsaw mill. Then it was time for building wrap we also had to do the other side of the garage roof before we could start on clapboards. Before we started this project, my dad bought some Alumapole staging. It's been a fantastic addition to this project. I'm not sure how we would have done it without it. Finally, we got to clapboarding. After going all the way around the house, this is how close our runs of clapboards were. So, good enough. After doing a bit more trim work, we were finally done with the outside of the house for the foreseeable future. Next summer, we're planning on doing an addition to my dad's workshop at his house. If you would have liked to see more video of this build process in more detail, let me know in the comments below. 
And if there's interest, I'll film us building the shop edition.